It's, it's like, it's like a, a mother having a newborn baby. You don't just leave the baby, you take the baby with you wherever you go. I just like to tell people what I'm doing, I don't know, just, just when I go to the toilet, you know, when I, whatever I'm doing. You know, it's interesting, whatever I do, so I just post it. The most outrageous post that I've put up is wearing a necklace made from labia. If Instagram was taken away, I would absolutely find it earth shattering. I would have a breakdown, I think I'd be sectioned. I won't even get up out of bed, I won't eat, I won't go wash. I will just stay there in my pit on my phone for the whole day. I use Facebook to avoid having sex with my husband. How bad is that? People get a dopamine hit when they use social media. Some people, for whatever reason, are more susceptible to this than others, but it means that social media is now a massive form of addiction for many people. Do you want to be famous? My name is Freddie Bentley and I'm a social media addict. My name is Angelica Lee and I'm a social media addict. My name is Jay Brown and I'm a social media addict. My name is Tracy Kiss, I'm an Instagram addict. My name is Remus Williams and I'm a social media addict. When your phone dies, you actually have to make conversation with people. Yeah. It's just so surreal. It's so hard, isn't I know. it? I know, right? Yeah. Have you ever you have said LOL someone? out loud? Like, yeah. LOL? No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag LOL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think is going to go in this box? Shoes. Our oh, no. Our problems. Our <laughs> but not the phones. Your problems. <laughs> <laughs> Phones in the box. Oh, I do could have just, to. I could just go put mine in charge, to be mm -hmm. honest. Yeah. Yeah. Rather it be in there. I'm just going to leave the box here. Right. I feel like I'm going to do it because I actually do want to improve my social media. Well done, Freddie. Well done, guys. Obsession. It's like letting go of a baby, though, isn't it? it? Is. You don't want to leave it unattended. <laughs> Oh, that one's open. I know. <laughs> She's like, leave me not on <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm nervously it's laughing because I'm absolutely <laughs> mad. Yeah. It's a rush for me to get the likes that come through. It's something that boosts my confidence, I suppose. I've lost so many friends this year. Going on my phone and being on Twitter, social media, all of that blocks normal life out. If I text someone, like gone out my way to see if someone's okay and they haven't replied, I will go from naught to 100 and just become a bit of a psycho. None of us have had the perfect life. We all struggle in some ways and sometimes our needs have not always been met throughout all of our life. Addiction is like quite common in my family. I'm a drug addict. Like when I upload a picture to Instagram, for instance, when people like that photo, I feel like, somewhat complete. So I feel like I'm searching for the love that you can say that I lost. Well done. That makes a lot of sense. That can't have been easy, having no. your put her addiction before, before your me. needs. 100%. And that's why I feel like I am a bit of a selfish person, because, I mean, my phone's my baby. It comes before everything. It's like... OK, so you're out for dinner. Yeah. How long does it take before you're on your phone? Seconds. It's bad. Yeah, it's bad. You pick up your phone and you leave your friend essentially on their own. What does that situation remind you of if you go back to your past? Yeah. No, I know. Yeah, what, do, what does it remind I think it's just because I have breasts that people follow me, really, to be fair. Um, and they're fake, obviously. The more you do it, the more feedback you get from it, and it's actually quite addictive in that sense. At the age of 18, I became a page three model, but before that, I was bullied because of how I looked. I was a geek, I was very insecure, I was very shy. I had no self-esteem, no self-confidence, couldn't make eye contact with anyone. Tracy, oh God. tell me about the, the bullying. How bad did um, that get? Yeah, it was really bad. I didn't speak. Um, I was like a silent child. Um, I how had a old list. were you? I was probably five or six when I kind of realised that I didn't gel with people very well. I didn't make eye contact. I just threw myself into education and worked really hard. And then became a model, so it was like... Phew. So this was born out of proving the bullies wrong. Yeah. 
now that I've found my voice, I kind of owe it to myself to not sit there in silence. That probably has made me quite outrageous. There is surprisingly a lot of nutritional benefits from eating semen. It smells kind of like old books and chlorine, you know, when you come out of the swimming pool. I think you've really gone above and beyond <laughs> to, to compensate. Definitely. And sometimes yeah. as humans, we overcompensate, particularly when something was mm. that negative. Yeah. Is there any room for reining it in a little bit and, and not having to spend so much time on it? That's the problem that I struggle with um, because I'm a single mum, I have two children. And if I'm not working, then I'm not earning. So if I'm with them, I feel guilty that I'm not working. And if I'm working, I feel guilty that I'm not spending time with them. You know, I have three million followers, but I only have one pair of hands. And my son is autistic, so he takes up a lot of time. I cook everything from scratch, being vegan, my lifestyle. So everything's like, phew, and I just don't know what can give. What would happen if things continue this way? It'd probably explode, implode. <laughs> I'd rather, like, sit on my social media than spend time with my husband. That's, like, really bad, right? Who'd like to go next? I'll go next. Jill, well done. Where did this come from? I have no idea. I mean, I don't know if it's because when I was little, my dad was always working, my mum was working as well, but, you know, we had a good life and I was very spoiled. They weren't around, like, I never got any attention. I thrive on the attention from social, like, from, that I get from social media. Yeah, I, 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 I thrive on it and I love it and, and I need it. How much is enough attention? It's, it's never enough. When am I going to be fulfilled? When am I going to be satisfied? When is it ever going to be enough? It's exactly how I feel. I'm not going to lie, I post quite raunchy pictures on social media to get more of a following and to get more likes, but you do. They say to me, your mum's a MILF. I saw your mum's Snapchat, I saw your mum's Instagram, I follow your mum. It annoys me a lot. Does it? Yeah, I don't know how it doesn't bother you, but it annoys me a lot. They're like, mum, you're just an embarrassment. You know, why are you posting pictures of your cleavage? All my mates can see, and everyone's taking a piss out of me at school, because they're at secondary school. I get a load, load more of likes when <laughs> I'm half naked than right. I do when I'm fully clothed. It was causing so many arguments, so many fights, he would literally be stalking my Facebook and he would be going through every single bloody comment that guys were writing. I just feel like they were, you know, giving me compliments, like, oh, you look pretty, your hair looks nice. OK, sometimes they would say something about my cleavage, and then... But he would literally go on there and swear at them. He'd be like, off, leave my wife alone, you pervs, and blah, blah. So then I had to block him. And now he can't, he can't see anything now, he's just, and he's really upset about it. It's causing the marriage to break down, basically, and me thinking of other things. I don't think there's actually anything I don't like about Instagram. I don't think it's very healthy that, that he's on Instagram as much as he is. I think it takes over. I think that sometimes we're, we'll be out on a day out and he's not really in the moment. We could have had a huge row that day and I'm fuming with him, but he'll still want a selfie with me by something really cool because he thinks it looks good on Instagram. <laughs> I've got a split in my life where up until I was 20, about 23, 24 years old, that I was one person. Um, and then I kind of recreated myself. I was horrible. Um, in I was, what way? I hate the person that I was. When he's feeling down, and I hope you don't mind me saying this, no. I think it's nice to have a bit of validation. Who doesn't like that? Who doesn't like to be lifted up by other people, whether they're strangers or not? When he's feeling down, he'll post an exceptional amount. Um, I went through various stages of abuse um, from uh, my parents, as well as from people that I was with or around. Is anyone seeing a running theme here between people's stories? What are you noticing, Jill? Um, that everyone wants attention. I just wanted to be a better person of who I was. Right. And that's the theme I'm seeing. I can spend at least 10 hours a day on social media. Facebook to Snapchat to Instagram, in a circle, constantly, all day long, just going back and forth from each app to app to app to app. At primary school, people always used to say things to me to call me gay or whatever. Obviously, I was different to other people, and I did used to get teased for that, and I've always wanted to be like, ha, look at me now, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And as I've got older, it's just stayed with me. And it's like, I'm, it's like yeah. I'm, yeah, it's like I'm forever trying to prove a point. 
I can sometimes post at least up to six, five, maybe five, maybe three to five, maybe to six times a day on Instagram. If I feel that I'm not getting enough likes, I would just be like devastated and I will even delete things. Well, I was actually about 11 when I started taking selfies constantly. I could spend at least at least 10 to 12 hours a day using social media. I'm obsessed with people that have had cosmetic procedures and I like to almost model myself in a lot of people that I see. Therefore, I have to, by modifying the pictures, make myself look quite similar to imagery that I see. It's like the ultimate perfection. Oh my God, if the whole like, entire internet just like was to stop tomorrow, like what the hell? hell would we do? I feel lost without social media. I can't remember what life was like without it. I need to tell you something. Oh, God. In order to help you, I'm going to change your passwords no. to your what? social media for seven days. Oh, my God, no. I can't no. do that. I can't do that. You won't be able to access your accounts for seven days. Are you mad? <laughs> and this is a detox, and this is serious, and you guys need help. I can't do it. I think that would send, like, mentally send me the wrong way. I can't do I it. Can't and do it. So, yeah. and, and so, sorry to say, but I won't do it. Yeah. That made my heart stop. I can't do that. I'm trying, I can't, I don't know what to do. Just think, seven days, what you can do, how much you would feel different, Without your phone. <laughs> I'd, I'd feel completely tormented. That's so how I, I would feel, tor I completely and utterly like, what, tormented. What, what, am I the I'm only one that's like... What am I going to do? That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Not... So the challenge is going to be that you're going to do something different that you would never really have time or energy or focus on. <laughs> it's been getting bad now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have other things that I want to do. What is it you'd like to do, Remus? What I'd like to do is record a whole like just a whole list of different mixes and different genres ready to promote when I get my social media back. I think I'm going to go home and spend far more time with my mum and with my baby brother and I'm going to read a book to him every single night and tuck him into bed. I'm going to take my little doggy out, Coco, um, three times a day. Oh, cause Excellent. Because I'll, I'll be bored <laughs> this. Um, I'm going to spend loads of time with the boys. I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook good food and spend more time with my husband. The, the, spending more time with husband, what are you specifically going to do? Have sex. <laughs> <laughs> How many times in the next week? It's got to be when you're feeling it. Maybe two times. Two times. Yeah. Is that realistic? Yeah, it's achievable because I'm not going to have my phone. Freddie, do you ever get distracted at work as a result <clears> of <throat> your social media yeah. use? Yeah, I'm currently a receptionist at a trampoline park. I've been caught on my phone so many times that I've had disciplinary action. I Snapchat everything, every part of my life. Like, I feel a bit anxious not Snapchat. Well, don't anything. worry, your Snapchat will be deleted. Um, for the next I know, that's what makes me feel anxious. <laughs> um, to no, I'm going to give it a good shot. Yeah. I don't know how long it's going to last, though. OK. Tracy. I don't see how I can, I can do it any differently with it being my job. Could we set some working hours for you and turn this That'd into a good. proper job? Yes. How many hours a day, Max? 12. Are you going to get a day off? Maybe we take a Sunday off, then. What do you want to do? It would actually be really nice to cook my favourite cake. My daughter loves baking. Angelica. I'd certainly want to do it, but then everyone's going to wonder where she's gone. So? It's time to give you back your phones and you can all do a final post before you go offline for the next seven days. Oh, yay! Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, you vanished. You can. I'm not going to be able to see what my oh, kids are doing or anything. Then just call. Try to avoid reading social media. This is your opportunity to now send a final message, <laughs> the final I post. I think it's my camera, though. Is that what Hang on a minute. I'm <laughs> checking Instagram. <laughs> Are you quickly checking? I feel like I'm... Try not to check. Try to just do one final post. I don't know if I could do this now. I'm getting down. I'm not, listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm going full out, guys. Like, I might as well smash it. Guys, I'm locking off social media for seven days. See you all soon. Guys, I've been challenged to do the seven-day challenge of not being active on any social media, so I'm not going to see y'all, but I'm going to miss y'all. Peace and love every day. 
Okay, I'm just going to say bye to everyone for seven days because I'm currently participating in a social media experiment. So I'll see you all soon. Bye bye. So, guys, I'm off social media for a whole week. I just think it would be a good time to have a detox. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Yeah. Our I Instagram password has been changed. I'm shaking. Have I got this right? That you want to basically not log in, but without any passwords changed? Mm. I'm really struggling with this. What's coming up for you as you're feeling such strong emotion? Maybe I'm a little bit... Not as good as I want to be, so... I'm not good enough. Yeah. I think part of it is more the control aspect of I have to control it rather than somebody else controlling and saying, look, I've got the password, I've got the email address, um, you can't have it for seven days. Because that's not me doing it. That's, yeah. somebody, el that's somebody else doing it. I think that is really important for you. And... Uh, and I think that's good that you've you've made that decision because it's even more challenging. <clears throat> if I can do it, then I'm proving I'm not failing. Instead of spending time on social media, I've been spending my money. This is money, I should say. So it's not good. I mean, pair of trousers, top. Another pair of trousers, pair of trainers, another top, and another top. It's been literally a couple of hours and I'm already struggling with that social media. To the point where this is my third take away in my life. I can only describe it, like I can only imagine this is how a alcoholic feels without alcohol. It's like very mind -fucking. I think the hardest thing at the minute that I'm feeling about not being on social media is the feeling of Coco being forgotten. And I also, when I post a selfie and I get loads of likes, I, and like you just get like that happy feeling, and I'm not getting that feeling like from social media. Although I am getting the feeling from my family, but it's different. If she carries on with it, it's going to save her marriage. If she doesn't carry on with it, then it's going to be goodbye, Charlie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bye-bye, I'm gone. We haven't had sex yet, but it's only been a couple of days, so give me a chance. <laughs> I actually generally feel like I've lost a family member. And it's only on Instagram and Snapchat, Facebook and Twitter. I really struggled, and that first 24 hours, I ate nothing but rubbish. On Friday, the, the thought of not being able to show people my night out on Snapchat gave me massive anxiety. I'm hoping it's gonna work. Right, I think I've nearly got all the ingredients. How are you doing with yours? Not much carrot so far. We need one cup. Do you find carrots harder or potatoes? Well, I did do carrots and potatoes last time. So maybe one one generous scoop. Well, it's really, really, really nice spending time with my mum because she's usually on her phone and on her laptop. Right. And then we can put some topping on and we have completed our mission. It's nicer when she's paying more attention to me. I was struggling last night, to be honest with you. I feel like she's more agitated. Because she hasn't been on her phone. About half past nine, um, I'd done everything. I was really busy through the day with the kids. Um, you know, I went cinema. You know, I, I just I spent loads of time with the children. But then, when I'd done everything, it was like, what do I do now? And usually, I'd go on my phone. So I have a bit of a confession. I have what I did re-download Instagram. I'm like annoyed at myself for doing it because I don't want to be a failure and I want to do this. But it's done, it's over with, and it's deleted. On the gram, 
on on the tweets. I've been tempted to post stuff. I went to like a friend's birthday party and uh, all of my friends are like social media stars. They were all walking around with phones in the air and doing their videos and doing Snapchat and all the rest of it. And I was just kind of like, stood there going, ah. Oh. Today I feel irritated to a whole new level. Last night I dreamt about social media. Don't know if that's normal. Obviously I woke up to no social media. I just feel like this permanent feeling of loss. It sounds so pathetic because it's only social media. But I didn't realise I relied on my day-to-day -day life with it as much as I do. I have been tempted to um, sort of speak with Dr Becky, but I, again, I'm trying to... I'm trying to fight this urge and like this demon on my own because I feel that you know it's, I suppose it's the same with any habit is if you can control the habit yourself the habit doesn't control you I've got much more motivation I've been doing things getting out of bed showering every day which is an absolute miracle oh. <laughs> Wait, it's changed oh my god now you're probably lost for words I am. I don't know what to say to you. Well, talk to me. I had that conversation. Oh, my God. We ain't even got a conversation. Well, the food is lovely. Chips are nice. Thanks. To oh. be honest with you, I am proud of you for actually sticking it out this long. I know, I do too. I'm proud of myself as well. Doing really well, aren't I? Even the boys have told me, like, when they get home before me, like, Mum ain't been on the phone. You're going to get lucky tonight. You should be happy. I am happy. Because I ain't got nothing to do. I can't go on Good. the phone. I think in work they got the ump with me because I was always on my phone and stuff. But since I've stopped being on social media, mm. I've had a much better work ethic and been working harder. Well, we spent the same amount of time in the, in the, in the house, I suppose, but not actually together. together. Because you was mainly upstairs on your mobile phone. Yeah. Though we live in the same house, we're in each other's company more than instead Since of me. Since you haven't been on yeah. social media, definitely. definitely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yes. Honestly, Fred, you've done really well, so I'm proud of you. Well done. I just can't believe how well I've coped with not checking how many likes I've got, checking how many followers I've gained, not posting. I've actually slept better. I've just been falling asleep and yeah. going to sleep and waking up, oh. and I'm just like, cool, I feel kind of free. Yeah. <laughs> did you use your time to do what you said you was going to do? Yeah, I, I actually did. I've literally been putting my baby brother into bed every night and reading his book. <laughs> and I was quite happy to do that, and we literally have done that. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Good. OK. I'm going to give you back your passwords today. I'm nervous, a bit excited. And I would like you to just sit with that. I know this is going to be like a massive urge, mm -hmm. and there's going to be a lot of temptation. You can pet and rub your phone as much as you like, as if it's your little animal or something. <laughs> Weekends, I will definitely take off of work because it's bloody amazing. And <laughs> I wish I'd done it sooner. Yeah, a wife. A wife? What's her name going to be? I think the hat makes it differently. You know, it's made me a lot calmer as a person and it's given the children the kind of mum that they've always wanted. Yeah. Alpha, capital O. Yeah. So, would you like to delete your social media accounts completely? Okay, I, I couldn't. I couldn't completely. I don't think I'm going to be checking it nowhere near as much as I would be. But completely deleting it, I couldn't. So now you are welcome to check your status. Woohoo! It's not illegal to use social media, and it's very hard to measure the harm that's causing to people. Platforms need to make the user is aware that this could potentially become a problem, and then the user needs to ask themselves the question, is my usage problematic? We use social media so often. No, 
that we're not alive, we're not here in the moment, we're, we're doing things, but through a filter. And I think it's the realisation that live for the moment and enjoy every second, um, because you won't get it back. I don't even pick up the floor. going on people so I just completed my seven day social media challenge and guess what I completed it and guess what I'm back and guess what I've missed you so so much I've missed you so bloody much like yeah so anyway I'm back now and life can just go on now because I'm here